Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create a WCF service using a Visual Studio. So create a new application, select a WCF service library. So next, give a name to your library. So I'll give Girish library. Okay, because it's already there. Let me go and uh, delete if there is anything there. Okay, fine. So let's create that. and it gives us some template uh, template interface and a template class so basically any library any wcf uh, service is basically a interface uh, it has uh, some decorators such as service contract and for all the methods there is operation contract and um, there is actual implementation of those uh, operation contracts and that uh, and the interface okay so let's go and uh, rename this to some sensible name so this is the interface so i'll use i girish and uh, there is the service so i'll rename it to girish okay so this is my service let's add a host application so i'll say next a new project i'll select a console application i'll say next and i'll say Girish host. Now two things needs to be done here. We need to add a reference of our project in this host application and we need to add a reference of a service model. Okay, so that should be service model. Okay. Okay, yeah. So with this we should be able to create our service instance. So before that, let me add a reference to this library. Let me add a reference to system dot service model and uh, system dot um, system dot service model dot description. Okay. Now with this, I can create a uh, instance of service host, and I can give a or service as an input to it and with this sh.open we will basically start the service we can notify the user that uh, service is hosted okay now if you run this application directly oh, I need to change this so you need to set this as the startup project and with this if you run you will get the exception that there are no endpoints so you can create the endpoints um, so I have got some uh, uh, ready-made code snippet for that so I can go to C sharp WCF and uh, template code uh, so app config I'll copy it from here so let's copy this and um, paste it here in app config so this basically creates the Girish uh, library endpoints right similarly here Girish library and uh, this is I Girish this is a contract okay so with this now if we run it's going to start our service so this is hosted now all right now, uh, since it, it uh, comes out of it, uh, we can wait for a, a key or a, a input from user. And let's write another application for uh, uh, the client application for uh, testing our service. So let's select this. So Girish client app. And uh, this application what we are going to do is uh, simply run this service and then add a service reference from here so add service reference and uh, you can use the uh, same address that you have mentioned uh, in the endpoint creation uh, here if you give that and say go you, will, you should get it and uh, yeah so that gets added in your project here service reference and now you can use it so first you have to say girish client app dot service reference 
and now you can create a client client is equal to new girish client and uh, you can say you can call any method of your service okay so it takes some number right so so you can output that service output is and uh, you can say client dot get data well you can send this some input and uh, yeah that's 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 it okay so when you run this application now you say service output is you entered 11 right so uh, basically you are able to call you are calling the uh, service here so the main points to consider here is you write interface uh, you provide some operation contracts there then you implement it using your source file and the source file you implement those contracts and then you write host application in the host application you create the service host you provide the service name to it so for each service you will have to create one service host and then you open this now you, there are two ways to create the endpoints one is the imperative way that is actual programming from here and the other is to create um, create the endpoints using the configuration file the way we have done it here so everything goes in system dot service model you can create some behaviors for your service some configuration data and these are the actual services for services tag there will be service uh, tag and the service tag will specify the name of the service the behavior configuration the address binding and the contract these are the three important things uh, this metadata endpoint uh, or uh, metadata exchange endpoint we create so that uh, our client can connect to our service okay so that's uh, about it uh, this is the basic uh, service creation wcf service creation and hosting and using it through the client uh, and these are the minimum things that you have to do thank you for watching let me stop this